welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Explain This. I'm with the star of the show, Robin Riddle. Robin, how's it going today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm I'm loving our new setup. I'm missing being with you in person, but we're we're doing this over over a Zoom call, which you know is is the next best thing as to being in person with you in the office. It works. It works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you guys know, uh, you guys name it. We explain it, and today's topic is a really interesting one, and it is protein. So, Robin, I'm going to start off by asking you, what is protein? So, protein is the building blocks for everything in the body. Protein breaks down to amino acids. Amino acids are what literally build everything in the body. Every single cell in your body contains protein, and it needs protein. Um, So, you're getting protein through foods generally. Um, and it, it does everything that we need for us. Uh, and I hear everybody talk about, you know, your macros, which if you're not familiar, macros are your macronutrients. Those are the big things that we need in our diet every day. Your main macros are protein, carbohydrates, and fat. So we hear a lot about fats. We hear a lot about carbs. I don't hear a lot of people stressing the importance of protein in the diet. Yeah, that, that's really interesting because, you know, when, whenever somebody emphasizes, you know, uh, a diet, it's typically like a low carb diet mm-hmm. or, you know, a high good fat diet. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but, but the protein part is. Where's the protein? <laughs> it's, it's necessary, but, you know, often we, 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 we don't focus on that. And that's what we're going to focus on today. So yeah. tell me, you know, what does it do for us? Why, why is it so important? Like I said, it's the building block for everything. And our body, we don't store protein. So we have to take it in every single day to to be able to feed the cells. Um, So literally every function in the body gets involved. So protein helps to build. So we build muscle. We build strong bones, cartilage, skin, hair, nails. Protein's involved in all of that. So having adequate protein intake is really important, especially for women, preventing osteopenia and osteoporosis later in life. We need to help build those strong bones. If you're exercising, you need protein to help rebuild that muscle, which comes to the next thing it can do. It helps repair the body. Mm-hmm. So you know, exercising, lifting weights, you're creating little micro tears in your muscles. You need protein in there to help heal that back. But also after any sort of injury, surgery, anything like that, you need good protein intake to help the body heal. Protein so, help. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> well, well it, it just feels to me like it's a it's a repair um, macro. You know, it's it something that, that, you know, w- whenever recovery is involved and that happens every single day for, every for day. us, you know, we have yeah. to recover to some standpoint, even if we didn't run a, you know, a marathon the day yeah. before, <laughs> but uh, sorry for interrupting you. You no, you're you're, good. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> um, so protein is really important for digestion as well. So the protein that we take in breaks down into digestive enzymes, which then breaks down the rest of the food that you're eating. Mm. Um, protein is important for hormone regulation, which we're all about hormones. Um, you got to have protein coming in to help regulate those hormones as well. Um, protein helps our immune system. We create antibodies with protein. Uh, so it's super, super critical for all processes of the body. So it's, it's super critical. We all need it. How do we measure it? How much do we need <laughs> every single day? Because, you know, I, like I said earlier, we talk a lot about, you know, um, going low carb. We talk a lot yeah. about, you know, eating healthy fats. And those tend to be like kind of extremes, like eat as much good fats as you can, (laughs) uh, go as low carb, you know, under 40, I think, if you're trying to be, you know, in ketosis, protein, how do we, like, how much do we need? Depends on what you're going for. Um, So if we're doing protein just for daily living, we've got a calculation or protein for active or protein for weight loss. Um, So one thing I forgot to mention, protein actually decreases your ghrelin, which we've talked about before. Ghrelin is your hunger hormone. So consuming protein and especially protein with fiber in the diet helps decrease that ghrelin. So you fill up faster and you stay full feeling for longer. So you Mm. naturally decrease how much you're eating because you feel fuller. Got it. Um, and it also, it also increases your metabolism to eat protein. 
It actually. Why, why, why don't we talk about protein more? I know, right? That's why we're here today. Um, so eating protein actually will increase the thermic effect of food, TEF. So it, it you burn more calories processing protein. So interesting. It kind of reminds me of the of the difference between cardio workouts and you know and lifting lifting weights. <laughs> exactly. You know, one kind of works for you only for a certain period of time, and one yep. uh, kind of has a compound interest effect. Yeah, uh, it seems it protein takes similar. Twice as much energy expenditure to process protein as it does carbs or fats. Interesting. Yeah. So okay, to get back to your question about how much, if we are eating protein to lose weight, generally we want to be eating about 0.7 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Okay. 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 Say, that so, one more, say that one more time so, okay. so we can write that down. 0. 0.7 to one per pound of body weight. So okay. it's an easy conversion if you just go with the one, however much you weigh is how much you eat. And that's um, if you're trying to lose weight. Yeah, so if, for comparison, if you Google like what's the recommended daily allowance of protein, the RDA is only 0.3 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Got it, not that's nearly where, enough. That's where a big misconception comes in with protein. That 0.3 is what you need to eat to not be in a deficit, to not have major health issues. Got so it. when we were real, when we're looking at, you know, Google, what do they say you need to eat? It's, it's low. So for somebody my size, I don't care. I'll tell you my weight, 140, somebody my size, they only say I need 50 grams of protein per day. That's nothing. That's not going to get all the other benefits that we talked about. That's just going to keep you from being deficient in protein. Interesting. So for somebody my size, if I am eating protein for weight loss, I need to be close to 140 grams of protein a day. Is that is that, that more than I think it is out of curiosity? Like It's a lot more than you think it is. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. And I'll get to uh, how much protein is in a couple of things here in a second. Okay. Um, but yeah, so for weight loss, 0 0.7 to 1 gram a day. Okay. Now, caveat to that being if you're extremely overweight, we want to base your protein goal off of your ideal weight or your goal weight. So a 300 pound man should not be trying to eat 300 grams of protein a day. Yeah. That's a lot. Right. Um, so we would base it off of ideal weight. If he wants to be 220, then eat around 220. If, if he's trying to lose weight. If he's trying to lose weight. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Got it. Protein intake for athletes, for people who are exercising more, lifting weights, need more protein for that muscle repair, we bump up a little bit. So it's one to one and a half grams per pound of body weight. Still going by your ideal body weight? By your ideal body weight. Okay. okay. So again, for me, my personal protein goal usually falls between like 160 to 180 grams of protein per day because okay. I'm weightlifting and all of that. So mine is a little bit higher than my actual body weight is. Interesting. Um, and that's kinda, a lot of protein. <laughs> yeah. It, you know, I think, you know, a lot of people talk about when, you know, they have certain uh, goals in terms of, you know, with weightlifting mm -hmm. or, or any sort of act activity, uh, you know, eating becomes really like a job. And it seems like, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, eating yeah. this much protein could be, you know, could be some work. Uh, you got to plan it out. But the benefits are, you know, unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's why I wanted to come on here and talk about this because people don't realize. So I tell patients, yeah, you know, we're talking about diet, we're talking about exercise. I always say, make sure you're getting enough protein. They're like, oh, I think I am. 98% uh, of people tell me they are, and they're not. The only way you're actually going to know what you're getting, of course, is to count it, to chart it. And I always encourage people chart first and then change. So you know what you were naturally kind of doing. You get an idea like, oh, I thought I was eating enough and I totally wasn't. Then you know what you need to change. So usually I have people track for a week or two before I tell them to change anything in their diet. I love that. Track before change. I would have never thought about it that way. I would have like tried mm -hmm. to change as I tracked and, and then I would stop tracking yeah. and then I would have <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So if your eyes are open to the fact that you weren't doing well first, then you really are much more conscious of the changes that you need to make. So let's get into how much protein is in stuff, because that'll give you an idea of how do what? Shock me. Shock me with okay. this. <laughs> Sorry, we have a slight delay there for a second. Sorry um, about that. So eggs, one egg, six grams of protein. Wow. Three okay. ounces of chicken, 26 grams of protein. Okay. Uh, ground beef, three ounces of ground beef is 24. Uh, three ounces of steaks around 21. So you can see you're running in the 20s for about every three ounces, which three ounces is my typical serving size. Men generally are more like four to five ounces per serving. Um, your average protein shake is anywhere from 20 to 30 grams, depending on what brand of protein that you get. Um, beans have a lot of protein. So like a, a whole cup of cooked lentils, still only 18 grams of protein. So when you think of a goal of 140, 150 plus grams a day, you're realizing every single meal you eat needs to have protein in it. Have, have you found that, are you a big believer in protein shakes for, oh. for, for the people who, you know, in their daily, you know, diet routine just aren't going to get the number yeah. that they need to get. So you do recommend, you know, protein. yeah. I do. So I do two a day because my protein goal is 160, 170. That's a lot of actual eating. I don't have enough time in my day to eat that much food and I'm not that hungry all the time. So right. I do a protein shake in the morning and in the afternoon between meals. Okay. Um, uh, any recommendations for protein powder or anything that you like in, in particular? It depends on what you're looking for. So I use the Costco brand, um, I've completely blanked on what the, it, it comes in a black bag. Okay. <laughs> it's from Costco. It's in a black bag. I guys, like it because we will find that. We'll put that in the show notes. <laughs> I'll, I'll send it to you. I have a bag sitting in my office right now. I've just forgotten what it's called. Um, but I use the Costco brand. It's around 30 grams per scoop. Um, some of them out there, you only get like 10 grams of scoops. So you got to do two scoops. Anyways, Costco brand, it has more BCAAs, branch chain amino acids, which are building blocks. It's 100% whey protein, um, which is important. I prefer whey over everything else, just the way it breaks down. Um, not a lot of fillers and additives, things like that. Very, very low in sugar. So, you know, when I think of people doing protein shakes, I, I think a lot, a lot of concern would be around like, oh my gosh, am I going to gain so much weight? You know, but it sounds like it just makes things more efficient almost. Yeah. You know, so you're, you're going to eat less of the bad <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So a scoop of protein has about a, well, mine has about 120 calories in a scoop of protein. I mix mine with almond milk. It just makes it taste a little bit better. Um, and so that's like 40 calories. So I'm 160 calories for a protein shake. Um, it's not that bad at all. It's not that bad. I mean, yeah. when you think about most people who go for a snack, they're going for carbs you grab a bag of chips, you eat some pretzels, something like that. That's what a lot of people go for with snacks. And when you do that, your calories are a lot higher and they're empty. So you're um, not as fulfilling. You're hungry again, faster. Yep. You drink a protein shake mid afternoon, you're good through dinner. I love it. I love it. Protein. <laughs> we don't talk about it enough, Robin. And I can't thank you enough for explaining it on this episode of Explain This. Absolutely. <laughs> Guys, you name it, we explain it. I'm your host, Ben Rogers. This is the star of the show, Robin Riddle. We will see you guys next time. Don't go away.